Nigerian songwriter and musician Kobams Asquero has been appointed as the national ambassador for the United Children's Fund UNICEF. This news is welcomed warmly by Nigerians as this is Nigeria's first national ambassador of UNICEF appointment. According to the representative of UNICEF Nigeria, the role of Kobams is to raise awareness around children's rights and solutions, especially issues surrounding birth registration, education, protection from violence, immunization and general child protection. Joining me live to share more light about this newest appointment is singer-writer and UNICEF ambassador Kobams, who has also been rendering his support to UNICEF's project since 2019. Hello, Kobams. I'm good, thank you. How are you? Awesome. Okay, so the rights of children have been infringed upon in high numbers in the country. I can't help but wonder why an appointment as critical as this is only happening now. Um, well, in my opinion, I think it's better late than ever. Uh, yes, the rights of children have been infringed upon for years. UNICEF uh, Nigeria has worked tirelessly to ensure the protection of children's rights. Um, I think um, that many steps are going to be taken to see that uh, that is carried out to the letter. And um, this is one of them. This is one amongst many, I'm sure, that you know will still be taken. And, um, you know, I think it's very... Um, auspicious and very opportune, given that uh, my mode of communication, which is, is um, uh, a vehicle, obviously, for carrying, you know, such an important message. So I, I think it's a step in the right direction, and I feel like, you know, it's better now than never. Of course, it is a win, and especially having a trusted citizen as yourself in that appointment, what will be your first call to action? Um, so as it stands, I mean, as you rightly mentioned, we have been doing a lot of work uh, with UNICEF, uh, with regards to uh, the, specifically the Child Rights Act, right. uh, Nigeria's involvement uh, in that. Uh, so I think that, you know, it, for us it would be, you know, a continuation of the work that's already been done in terms of just sensitizing the public, you know, um, how to manage um, children at, at this time, um, how to manage uh, the, 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 there are a number of important issues that have come up as a result of the pandemic, for instance, a lot of children are going to miss uh, their scheduled vaccination as a result. Right. So I think, you know, we're going to have a lot of conversation with regards to that, um, you know, just how children have been adversely affected by, you know, the, pandem the pandemic and how to, you know, mitigate such um, situations. Uh, it's fantastic that you brought that up because my next question was going to be if we can hope for more attention from the federal government and the country at large just to focus more on attention on improving the overall well-being of children like do you think this is going to be able to be foreseen i think so um so it's it's um i i feel like you know the, the task of addressing issues in relation to kids is uh multifaceted and um, so what my my intention is to just be a voice to help drive you know the matter of concern for the day right. um so I, I feel like you know in time we will come to you know the the, the myriads of issues that affect children in Nigeria and um you know all over the world so i'm i'm sure that you know all all these concerns will be you know addressed one after the other in time all right, before we let you go, seeing that you are also in the lineup of COVID-19 Hope for Africa coming up on the 31st, which is in two days, what should we be expecting? Uh, I think I'm just going to share my truth. I'm going to continue to encourage people to stay strong um, in, in these times and um, just um, observe uh, physical and social, physical distancing, um, be socially responsible, um, observe uh, even healthy hygiene, or healthy hygienic habits. So I'm, I'm just going to be there encouraging people, sharing my music, sharing truth. And uh, yeah, I think that's what you should expect. Awesome. That is all on entertainment news. Thank you so much, Kobams, for joining me today. You're welcome. Thanks for having me.